Okay, so in this video, we're gonna have a look at a difficult circle theorem problem using algebra. So if you wanna pause the video and have a go at this question now, then feel free to do so. But otherwise, I'm just gonna quickly show you where you can go about finding all of the topics related to this question right within the video. Okay, so when you're on one of these videos, if you click into the description and you scroll down in the description, you'll see right at the top there, you've got a video with the five hardest topics on paper three. If you scroll down a little bit further, you can download my checklists and practice booklets for this exam. Just below that, you'll have the whole series, obviously at the moment, this is the first one coming out, so it's not quite filled in yet, but you'll have the whole series of questions that I'm gonna be uploading in the lead up to the exam. Just below that, you have the series of exam revision videos. Obviously, we're focusing on paper three now, so we're gonna be looking at those paper three videos for foundation or higher. You can also find those in the playlists. So that's how we go about using this video, and right at the bottom, you'll see that for some of them, I'll put some timestamps in, but down the bottom there, you have topics featured in this video. So I'll link all the appropriate videos for this topic, or for whichever topic we're looking at, right inside the video. So hopefully that's useful and helpful, we've got a lot to get through, so let's get started. Okay, so looking at this question. Now it says A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. Work out the values of X and Y. Now the fact that we have two unknowns straight away makes me think that there's gonna be simultaneous equations involved. The fact that we have a cyclic quadrilateral means that we're gonna be using that rule that the opposite sides or the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees. So let's think about how we could apply that. So if we look at these first two pairs of opposites to start with, if we add them together, we would write that as 2x add the y plus 20 has got to be equal to 180 degrees. Below, we have another pair of opposite angles. So we'll say that these two added together also equal 180 degrees. So we have the x plus 2y, and I have decided to write the ones with the x in at the start, just to tidy this up a little bit. And then we have plus the y plus 40, and that is equal to 180 degrees as well. Now, if we can tidy these up, then we can approach them just like normal simultaneous equations. So the one at the top is already relatively okay. We've got the two x and y. We just need to minus 20 to the other side. So that would be two x add y that's gonna equal 160. And there's our first equation. For the next one, we do have to tidy up this 2y and this 1y, and also we want a minus 40 to the other side. So if I do that in one step, that would be 1x plus, which is now 3y, and that's gonna equal 140. And there we go, we have formed our simultaneous equations. From here, I'm just gonna treat them like normal simultaneous equations and find the value of x and y. We're kind of done with the circle theorem. So this should be okay. All we need to do is multiply the top one by three, and again, I am looking at the coefficients of y, so I have a 1y and a 3y. So I'm thinking if I multiply the top one by three, then I can have a look at the next step. So if we multiply that top equation by three, 2x becomes 6x, then we have 3y and 160 times three, and again, we are doing this on a calculator, but that is 480. For the next one, it stays the same, so x plus 3y, is equal to 140. Now our coefficients are the same, we can decide whether to add or subtract. The coefficients of y are both positive, so they have the same signs, and therefore we're gonna subtract them. 6x take away 1x is 5x, 3y take away 3y is zero, and 480 take away 140 is equal to 340. So 5x is equal to 340. Well, if we divide that by 5, we'll have our value of x. So 340 divided by 5 is equal to 68. And there is our first answer. From here, we just need to get our value of y. So we need to substitute that value, x equals 68, into one of our equations. I'm going to substitute it into the top one. So we have two lots of 68, and that's my 2x, plus y, and that is equal 
to 160. Now 2 times 68 is 136, so 136 plus y is equal to 160. And from there, I just need to take away 160 from both sides, and we get y is equal to 24. And there is our final answer. So we've got our two values. We've got x is equal to 68 and y is equal to 24. And that was using a circle theorem to actually form equations to use simultaneous equations. So we looked at the pairs of opposite sides adding up to 180, used that to form an equation for both pairs of opposite sides, simplified those two equations, and then just solved them using our normal process for solving simultaneous equations. So there's a good few topics involved there, circle theorems and simultaneous equations. I'll link them all in the description below, but hopefully you found that useful and helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.